Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign, a campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the very literal hardest difficulty and uh, trying to survive on the career mode. Uh, we are about 250 days in. Things are going really smooth uh, so far. We're on that brink of upgrading from medium to heavy mechs. Got a couple of heavy mechs um, actually and two more um, missions with our pirates uh, that we would want to do. Mission number one is copyright violations and I would absolutely love to get 20 salvage out of it. We're going to run the same setup as we're always running this time. However, Bradford is sitting in the Orion and we're going to use Lily for the Hunchback. Not a perfect setup, but it will be okay. Maybe we're using Tigan, to be honest. The guy needs some experience. I mean, look at it. Piloting in Tactic 3. Your peers are doing a bit better, my friend. So, without further ado, let's go into the lowlands and try to do the recovery. Good, let's go. Let's begin the mission. Command interface initiated. Okay. Oh, I know what kind of mission that is. We are screwed, guys. That is a marking mission. Target zone, target zone. Yeah. Oh no, it's not the marking mission. Okay, cool. Uh, I was wrong. There are sometimes missions where you need to mark like three sensor areas in order to in order for an airstrike to happen. And those typically have like dozens and dozens of reinforcements. This one here just looks like we need to fight for two different spots and would get some bonus by, by capturing both of them. So far only medium max, that shouldn't be an issue. Good, moving up with Reaper. The Griffin continues to tank as always. And we're seeing a Blackjack. Well, Confirmed. here we go. Confirmed. Mox, um, what are we doing with you, buddy? What are we doing with you? Potentially, hmm, right here. Yeah, I think that that is still the best idea. Mox unloads, the blackjack takes some damage, and that is uh, pretty much it. Got another mech coming from the other side. Tigan moves up, we're bracing. Ready for order. Not a fantastic move, but it's okay. We're hiding a bit behind the hill here with the Orion. All right, let them come. Copy I want that. to see what exactly they are doing. Griffin tanks. Damage minimal. There's a Centurion. Okay, cool. Something I can do. Standing by. Um. Nah, I think we're okay. What's up, Commander? I mean, this here could be an option, right? It's not a bad one. Centurion moves up, and although that is a 20% damage reduction, we do have excellent chances of hitting the guy. Fantastic. Fantastic, that was a good hit. Phoenix Hawk moves in. Yeah, the sensor lock doesn't really matter. Right 
Roger that, Commander. Hunchback moves in. Could hit that Phoenix Hawk from the side. And that could potentially hurt quite a bit. Alright, let's try that. Engaging target. Very nice. That was a good hit. That was a fantastic hit. Systems holding. Riff and takes minor damage. Nice. Speaking about which. We're moving up. Riff and still continues to tank. And let's hit this Phoenix Hawk here. Target confirmed. There we go. Good target selection Going in this case. Hit. He was uh, free to take the entire hits. And that blackjack has only limited damage potential. Keep in mind the stock version Ready to get it off. comes with a pretty suboptimal set of weapons. Uh, Orion moves up and now, finally, since all of the defense is gone and he just decided to stay there like a Firing. fool. He's going to die. The game needed to process just the amount of particles uh, for a second. Damn, let's do this. <laughs> he, he ate like a, a 10 times shotgun. Um, all of uh, the missiles at the same time and then four lasers. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. All right, hitting this guy here, the Phoenix Hawk, will take even more damage. Hostile removed. You know what I would call that? Oppressive. That's the right word for it. These two guys were in the open, uh, were standing in the open, and they just did have Commander. a really, really bad day. Move order confirmed. Centurion here minus forty percent. Are we going to? Yeah, let's reduce his initiative. Trying to hit his shoulder. Continuing precision strike, mainly because I want to make sure that we deal as much damage now as possible. Centurion takes quite a bit of damage, by the way. And now that the evasion blips are gone, we can fully start to unload. Yeah, despite his 40% reduction, you can actually see how the how the armor the began to there. deplete. Kitaro. Standing by. Orders. A valid target. A really good target. Move on out. Centurion moves in. And let's hit this guy and hit him really well. Commander. Okay, Griffin moves up. Confirmed. Just for security, let's get that uh, forty percent, sixty percent damage reduction. Roger that. We are at a heat limit at the moment, so that means we're not going to we're not going to uh, get a lot of extra damage at this rate. Copy that, Commander. Just gotta uh, watch our heat management closely. On the other hand, the Kitaro has. 
unfortunately finished his position, or fortunately for us, finished his round in an incredibly naive position. Good to go. Good. Two evasion blips. Move over to here. And that was the kind of hit that I was hoping for. Now, once again, Taro is standing in the open. Yes, Commander. Griffin moves over. Let's make sure that that Kikaro, since it can deal more damage than the Centurion, is reduced in its initiative. Oh, nice. Got the SRM-6 and the guy is potentially going down. Fantastic. Explosion plus knockdown, that's already two points of damage. Pilot is almost done. Okay. Well. Uh, yo. We can always melee attack at a later stage. Speed there in the chair. For now, multi target. And target B is going to take the small lasers. All right, here we go. Kimaro is gone. Centurion takes a bit of damage. Let's wait what the enemy is trying to do. Right, that's definitely an LRM twenty. And there's a heavy mech here. What are your orders, Skipper? Good, we're attacking melee. Right arm immediately falls off. Couple of extra hits with the light lasers. That reduced up, all of our heat. And let's do the... Let's get a bit better initiative. Just so that we're not completely Roger. left in the open. Engaging. And that Enemy was down. an easy kill on, with um, extra heat reduction afterwards. Awaiting orders. Hunchback is still intact, very intact. Moving up here, taking the point position. Three more enemies, an assassin. An assassin. The griffin here could stay a tiny bit back for now. Uh, needs to needs to regain heat anyways. Might as well sensor lock. Reduces uh, the evasion blips to two. Punch back tanks in, in the interims. This potentially difficult to say. Maybe another Kitaro. By. Orion moves up. Precision strike. All out center torso. Let's go. <laughs> the guy's almost down. Oh wow. 
That's yeah. some good damage. Centurion. Let's just continue with our LRMs. Save some heat. Assassin is almost down. That was a nasty attack. I'm catching some serious shit here. No retreat. Rifleman. Okay. Awaiting orders. I got you. And trebuchet. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Punchback. Let's go all out. The assassin needs to die. All weapons. Go. <laughs> right leg destroyed. Right horse destroyed. Done. Yeah, that was standing by nasty damage. Yeah. Moving to position. Centurion moves over. Uh, let's try that again. And maybe we can hit the head. Uh, it would be cool to loot an intact rifleman. Yeah. With missiles, there are quite a few chances to actually hit the head. Didn't happen, but there were a few. <sighs> okay. Critical hit. Commander. So, right arm is uh, the problematic one. Affirmative. This one here only shows the left arm. But we need the DPS, so we'll can't go. not stand here. Waiting for orders. Okay. On the move. Orion moves fully up. There's another rifleman down there. Let's go, baby. Fantastic. Hot damn, let's do this. Hunchback moves up. Let's make sure that the trebuchet here cannot shoot another salvo. Here we go. Yep, the rifleman Systems holding. has dealt quite a bit of damage, but also got incredibly aye, aye. hard. Receiving you. I would like to even get that guy further down in the pecking order. Locked on top. Both medium lasers are gone. The LRM is uh, 15 is still there. Yes, Commander. Going on reserve. Aye, aye. And now that is the important move. Moving up. Trying to hit him. Come on. That hit something good. Yes, Commander. Yeah, we're on the move. Going to just move further away. There's no point in 
taking too much damage. Specifically if his LRMs can't really hit well in in uh, short range Commander. and we're standing in long range with a griffin. You got it. Moving down his initiative yet again. I'm on him. Leg has 13 hit points left over. The rifleman is running out of steam. Standing by. Good to go. On my way. Centurion moves up. And we gotta be careful. We're almost overheating here. That's the leg destruction that I was hoping for. And with it the knockdown and Hopefully the kill afterwards. Awaiting orders. Aye aye. Let's move. Good. Not very fancy. Let's. Just go with the bare uh, minimum here. The SRM6, however, is too good to not use it because that's the SRM6++. Plus plus plus. The guy has one medium laser left. Holding. Losing armor left and right. Yes, Commander. On my way. Double All time. Right, moving up. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. Good. It's hopefully time to get that trebuchet down. Awaiting orders. Punchback moves up. And I don't want the melee attack, so I'm going to play it safe. Which is reducing his in initiative, even though there was a high chance that we would just kill it. Target down. Commander. Centurion moves up. Well, let's just pepper this guy with long range missiles. Very nice. Standing by. The rifleman begins to start learning his lesson. Griffin moves up behind yes, Commander. that hill. Location and confirmed. vigilance. Our shotgun is out of uh, shells, but the guy also took quite a bit of damage. He's now trying to stabilize. We don't want that to happen. Let's go for Vigilance so that the Hunchback can act first next round. Kind of moving in here and then completely Commander. unloading. Beat the cake. Continuing to pepper him with LRMs. With Standing by. Receiving you. High tailing it. Ryan loses uh, point heat. Orders. That's good. Moving to position. And we're bracing plus rear. Confirm. I'm there. Punchback. Vigilance. Just because we can. 
And that's a full attack. Come on. Fantastic. He's almost completely out. Getting banged up real good here. Aye, aye. Ready for order. Coordinates received. Good. Rifleman takes even more damage. Loses almost all of his armor. Taken a critical hit. Commander. Aye, aye. And this here should be it. Copy that. Red Ford. Acknowledge. No, it's not it. Critical hit, Commander. Awaiting orders. Here we go. No retreat. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Affirmative. All right, precision strike. Let's get his leg. Enemy eliminated. Roger that. Okay, we should be good to go. Order acknowledged. I would be surprised if we're finding another set of enemies. Roger that. That was two full lances, kind of half half. No problem. We have the asset, Commander. Copy that. Ten four. Heading out. On the move. Be there in the chip. We have a secondary asset, Commander. Fantastic. Okay. Well, definitely a an interesting kind of battle of attrition, but unlucky for the enemies, they were sort of coming in one at a time and you could see as soon as they were caught in the open and you manipulate the initiative, they actually had no counterplay because if, they, uh, if they're if they unstable and have no uh, defense, the armor will just drop incredibly fast. We could have earned a lot of money here, but I am more looking for salvage. Rifleman. Let's finish a rifleman for us. That's good. Taro. That's good as well. Uh, do we really need a centurion? Potentially not. But then on the other hand, all of the other weapons are just standard weapons, so might as well just go with the flow. But instead of the Centurion, I would have almost said that we might want to finish the Blackjack. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. Hey, we'll, we'll just get the Blackjack anyways. Yep. Okay. Okay. The Rifleman is an interesting heavy mech, one that is difficult to set up because it requires the right ballistic weapons. He has a lot of ballistic hard points, only moderate uh, space, and so it can end, end up in a situation where, where the uh, Rifleman just sucks. Or, as you've just seen, is able to like snipe once and then completely overheats and needs to wait rounds after that and that's typically not a build that i am keen on playing go terrible armor but can hammer up op uh, opponents from long range so This one here is the laser variant, and we might be able to do something interesting with it. 
maybe the two PPCs and could actually build kind of a sniper out of it with enough heat efficiency. What are we going to put into the stock for it though? I mean, we could put the Gryphon uh, back and then have the Rifleman. I doubt though that that will be a fantastic mech for us. The Gryphon was okay and kind of was was our reserve mech whenever we needed to cycle one in. It's not fantastic, but it is okay at the moment. I would say the Orion uh, is by far our best mech. The Hunchback uh, deals a surprising amount of damage for its size. And the Centurion is, is decent as a missile boat, right? So... That works well. The Griffin potentially is even a better missile boat. I don't know, do we really need a, uh, the Rifleman at this point? We got like what? A Thunderbolt here. On the other hand, at some point we will need to um move from the hunchback potentially the thunderbolt will replace the hunchback hmm good question we'll table it for now and we most likely will table the blackjack don't need it good as always let's take a last look if we can upgrade someone waiting for orders Good to go. So Mox could get that cold shot bonus, which is, by the way, a uh, fantastic bonus. So tactic six makes sense, and then afterwards going all the way to gunnery ten. Training confirmed, Commander. So let's yes, just Commander. go for it. Ready to rock. And Tigan got some experience, but not enough to actually upgrade anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, the one thing, I mean, with, with the right LRMs, I could definitely see the Gryphon outperforming the Centurion here. So maybe we'll just make this guy the LRM boat or whomever we find in the next uh, mission, potentially. Uh, we'll get another good chunk of loot with the Smash and Grab Lowland mission. But that will happen in the next episode, guys. We're, like I said, upgrading to heavy mechs. We just need to find the right combination of mechs uh, that we want to play with. Um, and uh, that'll be it for today. Um, keep smashing the like button and keep uh, commenting. I like to continue engaging with you. Take care and see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.